just kind of rested my mental, you know. So this ain't gonna be a, like a a detailed breakdown of the game because I gave you guys a pretty much detail for the pregame, so you can watch that video and pretty much if you watch the game.
that's why I said he, I felt like he wanted Brock Purdy to win an MVP and he didn't want it, CMC to win it because he just kept it in Brock's hands. I'm sorry, man. If, if I'm the quarterback, I don't care. If he keeps calling pass, I'm like, nope. I'm, I mean, well, if he does call pass, I'm, I'm going to drop it down to CMC or I'm going to hand it off. You're not going to lose this game for us. Our defense played great. Especially without Trey out there, especially without our our, our safety, Ufunga, who was out for the season, like to keep Patrick Mahomes bundled up like that for the whole game, that was the recipe to for us to win. And I don't get what Kyle's play calling was about. Her. I do not understand it. He, the defense just totally shuts out the offense it's like this guy doesn't give the defense help here do y'all not recognize we playing one of the greatest quarterbacks ever like it's like you have no respect who's on the other side of the field you have to adjust your play going to accommodate that your defense is tired like their secondary is great like you wasn't getting no big jump their secondary is good so you should attack their line and their linebackers So at this point, Kyle is what he is. So we're probably going to be saying this next year. Then we're going to be saying it next year. Then we're going to say, unless with our defense, if we can get maybe another corner and to just make our defense even more better, then Kyle was not going to go out there and win the big game. He's destined to screw it up, if anything. I, I just don't get it. I, I do not get why they didn't feed CMC. Even Debo running more with Debo, I don't get it. It's like he just wanted to keep throwing the ball when it was like nothing there. We put we put together that good drive. I was feeling good. I was like, oh yeah, we moving it. They can't stop us. We're running it. CMC is getting nine, ten yards, chunks again. We're moving it. I'm like, okay, we go down here and score. We we good. And we get a field goal. And they show the replays and I'm pissed. So, one play, Jennings is open for a touchdown. But or I think it was the right guard or the tackle doesn't doesn't get a, his block. And the guy comes right in, forces pressure, and Brock has to throw it away. Another play should have been a touchdown. You had Brandon Nike coming across the middle and the back. But again, our offensive line wasn't blocking. The guy comes in, puts pressure, and it doesn't get to IU. Those were two plays right there. We should have had a touchdown on that drive. My point exactly, why do you keep dropping him back if you know our line is not A1 here? You see they're getting pressure. Why aren't you just taking what they're giving you? I don't care if they call him a dink and dunk. Like, I don't know if that's in the psyche of Kyle or what. People started calling Bernie always 
tribe then I'm going to give Mahomes that much time back you cannot you cannot give Mahomes the ball with too many two minutes left multiple timeouts and thinking he's not going to get it done you just can't think that unless you just totally disrespect history here <laughs> so like how are you playing the game if you're not going to play it off the base of experience he's already shown the great quarterback show you that you give him time left on the clock with a chance to go down and win it they're going to go down and win it <sighs> so hopefully probably going to need two more weeks hopefully starting to talk about the draft uh, they, they, they said they moved uh, they raised the salary cap in the NFL and from what I'm hearing our team the news is oh we're going to keep a lot of our players um, we're going to be able to keep all our players so then we can just add to everybody uh, we got to add to the offensive line Offensive line didn't play good this game. We got to get protection for Purdy. You get protection with CMC, Debo, IU. The offense gets better. If you just get better protection and give Brock more time, more protection, it should be no way to stop this offense. So they have to build on the offensive line. And I would say look for a cornerback. I would say I go for a cornerback and a third linebacker. Because Dre does get nicked up here and there a season. Linebacker might go out. So try to get a better linebacker for that third linebacker position. I mean, if you do this, those things, we should be even better. The offense is going to be better. Brock is going to be smarter. Uh, Hufanga comes back at safety. Um, they're probably going to let Chase go. I probably will let Chase Young go and try to get somebody else on the line because Chase doesn't have a, a motor motor he doesn't have a motor like play to the end of the whistle like and he's, he's not he's not as smart as you want him he doesn't hold that edge a lot Bosa didn't hold the edge in this game pissed me off so it was fourth and like one or two and they won four and I said this is the game right here this is the game I said you cannot give Mahomes time on this fourth down, I said, bring the house. I'm telling my brothers, I'm like, it's fourth and one or something, the fourth and two. This is the game right here. We can end it. You bring the house. You do not give him time back there. You rush him. You bring the house. They don't bring the house. It was a great play call where they, they faked the run 
huge for it for it to get changed that I never heard of it. I never heard that now both teams are guaranteed the ball no matter if you score a touchdown or not. I never heard that. When did they do that? Why wasn't it like that's a big change? I, I, I want to know when they did that. When did they announce it? Because I never knew that. I never knew they changed that. And I don't think said he knew or they had talked about it but the player was like no some of the players like we didn't know that so then it's like it's like the coach has to be lying because if you knew that why would you take the ball if you know both teams have to get the ball now don't matter if you score a touchdown or a field goal the other team won't get the ball then you defer other team the ball first why because you got the ball first say it's say on the 40 yard line and it's third and five and you don't get it you get three yards you're going to kick the field goal kick the field goal you go up three now the other team gets the ball they know what they need to do and on top of that it's almost like having an extra down because it's almost like you got four downs now and the first thing that the ball first only got three because they're not going to play it like they got four downs they're going to be conservative they're, they're going to play it smart but now the other team if they need a if they need a touchdown to win the game say you scored the touchdown the first team so then you come back now you know you need a touchdown now you got four downs to do it instead of three does that make sense to y'all it's like you have an extra down you know what you need to do and you got four downs you're playing with hopefully that makes sense so if you knew the overtime rules then why would you take the ball first sense Kyle that don't you would take the ball second just a tip just a tip I, I don't get it I should be a coach I think I, I think at this point these coaches are so freaking stupid it's it's enough dumb people on that sideline bro if I'm on that sideline I don't care I don't care if I get fired I'm running up to Kyle run the damn ball run the clock stop giving Patrick Mahomes the ball back. Somebody. Maybe to do something. Maybe it might change the decision. Maybe he might think. I'm running up to him. Run the turn. Pull. Bro. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. <sighs> I'm done. Okay. We lost. Another. Another.
here so we can line it up and tear y'all up again. Um, the only good thing about losing to the Chiefs, I don't know any Chief fans. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you ain't got to, I haven't heard one Chief fan like, yeah, we Chiefs, we beat y'all. I don't know any Chiefs fans. <laughs> I, don't, I, I don't see anybody wearing any Chiefs hats, Chiefs, nothing. This area is nothing but uh, Ravens, Eagles, maybe some Giants, Jets, um, Commanders. Um, you see some Patriot fans here and there. Of course, jumped on the bandwagon, but I don't really see too. I don't see any G fans, so I'm not getting heckled or nothing. <laughs> so many chances to put that game away so many freaking chances to 